me answer three questions. Number one, there are questions people ask. Should everybody speak in tongues? Or must everybody speak in tongues? That's what many people ask. The answer is no. Everybody must not speak in tongues, but everybody should speak in tongues. It's not a must because if you don't will it, you will not. Paul said in 1 Corinthians 14 verse 14, he said, if I pray in, my, in an unknown tongue, he said, my spirit prayed, but my understanding is unfruitful. He said, what will I do? He said, I will pray in the spirit and I will pray in my understanding. So it's a will. If you don't will it, you will not. God won't force you. But if you see these benefits, you will know that you should. And there are 10 benefits I would have shown you if I had time. He said, I will pray in the spirit. Number two question people ask is, when the apostles prayed, the disciples prayed in Acts chapter 2, they understood them. Why is it that our own tongues now, nobody understands? That's not the only time they prayed in the Bible. There are other times when they prayed and nobody understood them. Because what you need to know is that there are three operations of tongues. The first is when you are speaking in tongues, either as a prayer to God or as a prayer to edify yourself. The second is when you are giving a message in tongues. And the third is when you are speaking in diverse kinds of tongues. When you are praying in tongues, nobody hears. Nobody understands rather. Not even you. The scripture I just quoted in 1 Corinthians 14 verse 14 and 15. Paul said, if I pray in an unknown tongues, he said, my spirit prayeth, my understanding is unfruitful. That means I don't know what I'm saying. That's Paul speaking. And in verse 2 of that scripture, it said, when we pray in an unknown tongues, he said, no man understandeth us. He said, how be it in the spirit we utter mysteries. So it's a mystery between you and God. No man understands it, not even you. That's called praying in tongues. You are talking to God and you are defying yourself. But there's another type of speaking in tongues when God gives you a message. It's in 1 Corinthians 14 verse 4, 4 and 5. Paul said, when you are speaking in tongues, in a congregation especially, he said, it is better to prophesy because prophecy defies the church. He said, however, if the message comes in tongues, he said, somebody else should interpret so that the church can be edified. So there are times when you are speaking in tongues and it's either a message to you or it's a message to another person. If it is a message, God will give the supernatural ability to interpret so that the person is edified. And then you have diverse kinds of tongues. 1 Corinthians 12.10 and 1 Corinthians 12.30 and 31. Paul said that there are those who have the gift of diverse kinds of tongues. What happened in Acts 2.4 is called diverse kinds of tongues. In diverse kinds of tongues, God gives you the supernatural ability to speak a known language but unknown to you. So I can start speaking fluently in Yoruba and prophesying and talking. I don't even know. But a Yoruba person will hear it and understand. It's called diverse kinds of tongues. But you need to understand that the whole concept is that the language is unknown. That's why it's called unknown tongue. But if you don't know the difference, you will argue blindly. When they spoke in Acts 2, they were speaking in diverse kinds of tongues. In Acts 14.2, they were praying in tongues. No man should understand. Acts 14.14 14 and 15, in tongues, no man understand. But Acts 14.4 14, and 5 is a message in tongue. Somebody should understand and interpret the third question about tongues is, some people say, it's when you are overwhelmed by the Holy Ghost that you speak in tongues. How can you just stand up? You want to pray. The next thing is, shaba, 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 haba. They believe that you must be overwhelmed by the Holy Ghost. And then you fall down. You now say, bah, 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 eh, eh, eh. that's childishness. Spiritual childishness. When you, don't you see some people, they think the only time you can prophesy is when you fall down. Ah, oh, I am here. I am here. I am giving the message. Let my people hear. God can operate with you like that, but it's because you are a child. When you mature, you carry your pen. Because there must be order. You will write the message and send to the person in charge. This is what God is saying. And they will read it. It's as powerful as the person who fell down and said, I am here. I am here. I am warning the church. I'm, <laughs> the person is a child. And some people think that's when it's spiritual. Hey! They will roar, 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 and say, I'm speaking now. I will come. I will purge my church. I will judge. It's God talking, but it's a child. He's talking through. When an adult comes, he says, let one speak and let another speak. So we will line up and collect the mic. 
This is the word of the Lord. The Lord says, I'm coming and I will judge the church. I will purge my church. So it's, I want to advise that we, 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 we amend our ways. And you drop the mic. People will not feel any goosebumps. But it's as powerful as the person who shouted. It's just maturity. So you don't have to be overwhelmed to speak in tongues. Paul said, I will pray in the spirit. I will pray in my understanding. So the same way I can stand up and say, Father, I love you. I bless you. I give you glory. I give you praise. I can also stand up and say, Manda oro pacta fracte kira para astos. Liga bongra paraste stevira ando. Paragada zuza. Manda kira para dosto. When I'm energized, I go to a higher level. I will pray in the spirit. I will pray in my understanding. It's will. I will. It's not. And then some people say, when you speak in tongues, it's God talking. It's God talking. No, it's not God. In Acts 2, 4, it said the Holy Ghost gave them utterance. God enabled them to talk. This is why many are never baptized. You pray for them, God is all over them. But they are waiting for God to talk. <laughs> and God won't talk for 20 years. The moment you are baptized in the Holy Spirit, the inspiration begins to well up. It's an act of faith. You open your mouth and exercise your will. Otherwise, you will never speak in tongues. So many people are waiting for God to pray through them. The only time God prays through you is in Romans 8, 26. And when God is praying through you, he says you have no utterance. That's when you groan. You groan in the spirit. And it doesn't happen often. Because some people think is you pray high when you groan. So the moment they carry the mic, mm, 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 some people will now start, ah, 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 and they'll be acting as if they are dying. Ah, 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 ah. It's, it's childishness. Ask those that God prays through. Some people don't have that experience three times in a lifetime. You see the mm, 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 mm. And they'll do mm for four hours so that you will know that Kai, what is happening to this brother? It's not a small thing. Please don't punish yourself, sir. When the Holy Ghost comes on you, you and God will know. And you don't need to prove to anybody that you are groaning. Because some people, all their prayer is groaning. All their prayer. When they come for prayer meeting, they'll hang at one corner. Mm, ah, ah. Ah, ah, ah. When you finish singing, come out. Let's pray. <laughs> and if God is on you, don't stop. Allow him to find expression. It's not often, but when it's on you, allow him. Because we like too much show. I'm human approver. Hallelujah. Well, this video is powerful. The Bible says that if you faint in the days of adversity, your strength is small. This video you just watched now, we believe that it has increased strength in you and it has set burdens in your heart. If you are new, if you are new to this video, please subscribe to this channel. Click on the notification bell to get daily uploads, comments, like this video, and God will bless you. Thank you.